How's it going guys? Josh here, AKA Olufemi. It happened again. Adobe updates are not uncommon, but sometimes Adobe puts out these updates that definitely trumps all the ones that happened previously. The Adobe Premiere 2018 update released in October of 2017 is one of those updates that's either gonna be a really big deal, depending on your workflow, or a moderately big deal. Now let's check it out. The update is separated into a few different sections. Number one, opening multiple projects. Remember back in the day when a lot of us used Final Cut 7 to edit? I remember one of the biggest issues with switching to Premiere was that you couldn't open multiple projects at the same time. Well, now you can. All you gotta do is click open project and instead of shutting down the previously open project, it just opens up that new project in a new window. If you wanna later close down a project, all you gotta do is right click on its tab and click close project. Number two, shared projects. This allows editors working in the same facility to work on the same project. When one user is working on a project, it becomes read only to all the other users. This means they can't edit it. When a person is done editing a project, all they gotta do is press a lock button and that releases is the project to be edited by another person. Number three, responsive design regarding time. Let's head over to the central graphics panel. With these time-based controls, motion graphics users are able to determine which sections of their graphics maintain their intro and outro animations, even when the overall duration of the animation changes. Check this out. I have a specific animation with keyframes in the beginning and in the end, as seen in the effects controls window. As I change the length of the clip, I can see that my keyframes stayed at the beginning and at the end of the clip. Now check this out. This is something that I didn't understand at first. Check out the intro and the outro durations in the edit tab in the essential graphics window. The intro duration number creates these areas that I like to call clip real estate. Let's start from the beginning of the clip and continue to the same number of seconds as the duration number. So an intro duration number of four would create clip real estate that starts at the beginning of the clip and extends four seconds out. Now any keyframes originally within this real estate stick to the beginning of the clip regardless of how the clip changes size. The same concept is true for the outro duration except the real estate starts from the end and extends back in. Now any keyframes within this real estate stick to the end of the clip regardless of how the clip changes size. Now let's talk about roll. If you look underneath you can actually create a end credits like roll to make your graphics roll from the top of the screen to the bottom of the screen. You can specify whether you want it to start on and off screen or end on and off screen. And also you can edit frame entry points and frame exit points by editing pre-roll and post-roll. Now let's check out responsive design in regards to the position. You can actually click on the graphic in the edit tab in the essential graphics panel and your position tools will then appear. You now have the option of pinning one graphic to another by clicking the pin target in the pin to drop down. And a side note, motion graphics templates are actually available via Adobe stock. Sometimes I feel like it's an underused resource. And motion graphics templates in After Effects can now be edited in Premiere. And a few more things. Now you can actually manipulate multiple graphics layers simultaneously in the graphics monitor. And a new font menu finally allows for you to preview your fonts beforehand. Now to VR, now you can actually edit your VR footage with specific head mount displays. You can edit VR audio based on orientation and there are new VR transitions and effects that create seamless impressions that are applied wherever you look in 3D space without any weird stuff at the seams where the images are stitched together. A new plane to sphere effect allows 3D titles and graphics to be placed in specific areas in 3D space. One of the best ways to keep organized is labeling your clips with color. Whether it's A-roll, B-roll, or any type of clip, I love to label everything with color. And guess what? In this new update, there are eight new color options in labeling. It's incredible. All right, guys, so these are the main things in this new update. Everything else can be viewed on Adobe's website via the link in the description. Add your name and place of residence to my latest Instagram post, and I promise to give your Instagram page a little peek. Thanks for watching. And once again, guys, keep it chill.